You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good day to you, sir. Hey, happy Thursday and your little uh, small faces there, Heidi. You doing good? I'm doing well, thank you. I like the new look. You get your hair done again? I did not. You did not. She was gonna. I could have sworn you had an appointment. She like did just the other day. I she, did. I had to move it to next week. She punted. <laughs> but thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I like that pulled back, tight ponytail, greasy look. <laughs> it's, 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 Thank you. Good, it's fantastic. <laughs> what is that? Just woke up. <laughs> Holy go! Talk about pandemonium <laughs> nationwide today. Happy Nutty Fudge Day. Oh yeah. Ooh. It's better Nutty than fudge. smooth fudge day. Don't know who makes this stuff up. Do you prefer nuts in your fudge or not? I do. I, I, I kind of do. But do they have to be walnuts? No. They can be Because that's normally nuts. the kind of nuts you find in fudge. I mean, that's oh, that's yeah. kind of, you know, a typical issue. I feel issue. like fudge is too soft to not have nuts in it. I feel really? like you yeah. need those. Really? It almost feels like you're eating just like a glob of peanut butter yeah. or something. I see. Yeah. So if you had to, you know, take one particular nut, what, what would you put in that fudge? Probably walnuts. Probably walnuts. Yeah. John yeah, saying? I do like sort of? Okay. Macadamia nuts. All right. Fantastic. Homer I'm Simpson dope, is 66 today. Woo. No kidding. Yeah. Who figures this stuff out? Well, the people who wrote The Simpsons, apparently. Yeah, but he's... Okay. George Carlin, comedian extraordinaire. Born this day. I loved him. I saw George Carlin kind of late in his uh, career. He was in town here at the Washington Pavilion. Now, he passed away in 2008... So I want to say this was maybe 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. Somewhere. I never did get to see and, him uh, perform, and was I interesting wish like, I had. Because I grew up you know, watching him on TV and variety shows and this yeah. and that. I absolutely loved him and got excited. A friend of mine called and said, hey, got a couple of tickets. Wife apparently has got to be out of town all of a sudden. I'm like, yeah, sure she does. Anyway, I got to go for nothing. Nice. nice. And uh, it was really kind of sad about midway through whatever he was, he just, he was just angry. Oh. oh. It just turned into like this angry this rant. rant. And I'm like, mm. Yeah, we're here to laugh. Yeah, Joan, Dude. what was her name? Joan Rivers did the same thing. Yeah. We went to her Ooh. show and she she turned on the audience like 20 minutes yeah. into it. That's that's too bad. Yeah, he I didn't need to hear that. Yeah, he didn't turn on the audience, but yeah, it got it just got a little uncomfortable, which was yeah. uh, She yelled at us. I'm a big fan, believe it or not, because I happen to have read her biography. I'm not sure how that even happened, but I did. Mary Kay Ash was born this day. Mary Kay Cosmetics. Oh, yeah. Oh, you read the biography of Mary Kay? I did. Somehow you know, it ended up in my house years ago. I'm like, what is this? Because I didn't drag it in. Somebody right. said it in your bathroom right. and you and had my, to read my it? significant other <laughs> came to books. It was usually pop-up. <laughs> <laughs> she did not join that <laughs> stuff. So it's like, how did this get here? But I ended up reading it because I will read anything. And fascinating story you won't read anything because i've tried to give you some of the books that authors send to me and you just (laughs) laugh and throw them back at me well some junk is just junk john (laughs) (laughs) you talk to the author of this but yeah mary Kay cosmetics still going strong yeah one of the greatest pyramid schemes ever it really is ever they've got a brand new product out uh, just hit uh, the market about a month ago the instant puffiness reducer it's oh just nice. thirty-five dollars. I need some of that. Get rid of your under eye puffiness, like bang right now. I am instantly puffy quite often. Thirty-five bucks, John. Duh. Go online and order some, or get yourself a Mary Kay lady. One of those free times. <laughs> they are still out there. Plus, pink Cadillacs. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I know those. for the top sellers. They still doing that. I think I, they do. I know I've seen some. They were so. far more prominent, like seventies and eighties, where oh, yeah. there are a bunch of them. And I think they're like SUV things now. Yeah. Oh, could it's be a Cadillac. Yeah. Could be. He was a 1935 Alcoholics Anonymous founded mm. in Akron, Ohio nice. by stockbroker Bill W. and heart surgeon Dr. Bob. Well, that's not very anonymous if you're going to tell us who it was. No last names, John. Oh. Didn't you just say their last names? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then. It's Dr. Bob and Bill W., John. Oh. <laughs> I bet that W stands for a last name. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Well, he's deceased. I'd share it with you, but no. Okay. You don't get to know the secret handshake either. I won't. It was 1941. Wrap your head around this. 1941. And I guess this is totally legit. The world's first programmable fully automatic computer Mm. is presented, known as the Z3, designed by German inventor Konrad Zeus. Yeah. It was huge. Took up a whole room. Well, didn't last long. Uh, the original was destroyed in an uh, air raid. Yeah. You know, 1941. Yeah, in Germany. You know, 
<clears throat> replica is on display, should you get that way and are interested. Replica is on display at the Deutsches Museum in Munich. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. So there you go. It's, it's not lovely a, there this time of year. It's not a handheld. And uh, 1978, United States Commerce Department. What they have to do with this, I have no idea. But the Commerce Department announces that hurricane names will no longer be only female. Yeah, I remember that. Was a big deal. Hmm. Yeah. What year? 1978. Okay. Oh, well, then, then I apparently don't remember that because that would have been yeah. three. <clears throat> well, they started naming like tropical storms, hurricanes back in 1953, and they were always female names. Yeah. Right. Always. But and, I remember uh, like Hurricane Hugo and Andre and you know all of those. Yeah. Well, Good sure, job, John. sure. The best are males. I just, I'm just name dropping over yeah, here. That's what they you're doing. <laughs> yeah, and they compile those names every year. Yeah. And whatever. I really never thought about it. I've lived through every all that time. Stuff. There's I, a big hurricane and and there's a lot of damage. The people with that name, like there are that that there are few people with that fewer people with that name the next year, like the baby names and stuff. Yeah, oh, I suppose. okay. Like after Katrina, that was like a name that people didn't name their kids for a couple of years. There was only one person ever named. Katrina. Katrina, and she was the singer in Katrina and the Waves. Oh, yeah. Have you ever met another one? brilliant. No, you have not. It's good. Very good. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Of course, I was in Minneapolis. We didn't get a lot of hurricanes. (laughs) Right. I'm going to just sit over here and quit talking now. Whatever I just said didn't make any sense. (laughs) It sure didn't, John. (laughs) How unlike you. (laughs) No, it's not the way I do things. All right. I know. You know. We all know. We just forge ahead here. All right. Going to do that. It's the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for a bright spot of news. I'm excited to visit today with Jerry Irby. He's a very funny comedian, and if you have not had a chance to see him, tomorrow night is your chance. Jerry, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good, John. How are you? I am fantastic. I've had a chance to perform with Jerry. He's a very funny guy, and uh, you are going to be performing tomorrow night. you got a couple other folks on the show with you, and it's it's a Friday the 13th show. First of all, Jerry, are you a superstitious guy? Uh, Slightly superstitious. I think there's like a, a root in all the superstitions, but you know, it, it has to make sense for me. Like throwing salt over the shoulder, I, I just don't get. It. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> don't walk under a ladder. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah, be working. There's something to fall. I agree. Know? Well, well, even if you're superstitious, tomorrow would be a good night to come out. You could get over your superstition of Friday the 13th. We've got uh, a couple of folks. We've got Aleda Wendell is going to be performing. We've got Jerry Irby performing. And then we've got a, a gentleman that's going to be in town, Nate Abshire, who will be performing as well. And have you worked with either of the other two in the past, Jerry? Yes, I've worked with both of them, and they are both extremely funny. Aleda Wendell is a Sioux Falls local. You know, I, 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 I perform with her all the time. Um, even at open mics. And Nate Abshire, I performed with him in Brookings, and that's actually how we got this show set up. And yeah, he's an extremely funny guy. I believe he's out of Minnesota. Nice. Well, I've not had a chance to see him. I've seen the two of you, the the two local folks. You guys are both very funny. And again, I'm excited to see him. The show is tomorrow night. It's a Friday night, Friday the 13th, and it says 7 p.m. to about 9.30. It's at Boss's Comedy Club in T. It's a new location. And I know there's been some folks that are trying to find the new location because they've gone to the old location. It's in T, and I've got at uh, SiouxFallsComedy.com the address, all the details. If people would like to get tickets, they can get those right now, right? Yeah, yeah, they can get them online. I do believe the website is Eventbrite, uh, or they can get them from at the door. And nice. we also sell tickets at the door, also. Uh, but it's probably best to do pre-sales because these shows sell out pretty quick. And I will throw a link to make it easy to find. If you if you forget to do that, you can find the tickets at SiouxFallsComedy.com, and there's a link that takes you there as well. Jerry, how long have you been performing stand-up comedy? I've been doing comedy since January of 2020. And what so, was it that made you decide to do this? Because I, I know your background, a military man, a plumber, and comedian. That doesn't quite fit with everything else. What made you decide to dive into the comedy world? Well, you know, uh, military, that was uh, a long time ago. And uh, I've always wanted to be a comic. 
Um, I've always been a fan of stand-up comedy, always listened to it, always had like the thought process. So uh, moving out to Sioux Falls, seeing that there is a local comedy club someplace to actually do it, you know, it was nothing left to be done but do it. Well, I'm glad you're doing it. You're a very funny guy. We've, like I said, I've had a chance to perform with Jerry, and and I'm a big fan. I think you do a great job. Tomorrow night's going to be a ton of fun. Jerry, thanks for taking time to chat with me about it today. Oh, no worries. Thanks for having me on, John. Absolutely. Again, Jerry Irby, just one of the many. There's three different comics tomorrow. If you'd like to get tickets, you can find them right now. If you go to SiouxFallsComedy.com, you'll see a link. Again, SiouxFallsComedy.com. And again, the event is tomorrow night in T. All of the details at SiouxFallsComedy.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel Group. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Thunder Road Thursday? Thunder Road Thursday. Should I announce our winner before? You probably should. Do you? uh, No, I'm not even going to ask you. You Just go ahead. We're giving away a gift card at uh, (laughs) Thunder Road. Use it at your discretion. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Hey, if you would like to win... Next Thunder Road Thursday, go to the website, sunnyradio.com. You're going to see a little button on there that says, win tickets and other awesome stuff. When you click on that, you can register for a plethora of prizes. And one of them is Thunder Road Thursdays. And our winner, Kevin Larson. Nice, Kevin. Kevin. Congratulations. Get that. You get to go to Thunder Road. And you don't have to go on Thursday. You can go whenever you want. So I'll get you a nice little gift card. And Dan, what else do you have? Uh, what what do you find interesting? Today? Well, every now and again, we have to delve into the world of crime. Okay, I've been paying any attention. Apparently, crime rates around the country have gone up and up and up, and it's getting kind of crazy out there. Yeah. Uh, in case you don't know, in case you don't know, the city of Sioux Falls, which has a fantastic police department, first responders mm-hmm. and whatnot, any given month they answer between seven and eight thousand calls on average every single month. Every single month. Right. That's man. huge. Be anything from missing persons to vandalism to stolen vehicles yeah. to more and more gunplay these days. Yeah. That kind of thing. And uh, they, they do an excellent job. But we're turning our sights to a little bit of a uh, little crime that happened, well, this past Friday in Waverly, New York. Oh, what was that? Waverly woman has been arrested, brought down hard for robbing the local bank, the Canal Trust Company. The perp, Edna Jane Hallett, taken down by Waverly police when they responded to the bank. Somebody set the alarm. Okay. Because apparently this woman was just really casual. Yeah. Just kind of shuffled in, had a little note going, hey, give me the money, blah, 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 blah. So she didn't cause a scene or anything? No, not whipping out pistols, not not saying, hey, hands in the air, or hey, lay on the floor, none of the the usual bank robbery, you know, shenanigans going on. (laughs) In fact, fact, the teller she was dealing with was, you know, thought maybe it was just kind of a scam thing. But but no. And uh, police showed up. Of course, they start to surround the place. Well, they find... Woman Edna, about a block or two away, just shuffling down the avenue with a little bag of money, <laughs> taken oh. into custody. Police oh. investigating uh, further with what exactly went down. Uh, Edna is eighty-three years old. Eighty-three years. And they old. gave her the money. Eighty-three. Well, Why would they a, give her the money? She I, gave well, it's note. protocol. <laughs> it's what protocol. are they going to do? She gave a note. It's the oh. it's the rules, man. But I look at this. I am surprised that more of the elderly aren't involved in crimes. Well, don't give them the idea, Dan. Well, I'm gonna. Because they get themselves arrested. That's not good. Because I'm at that age now yeah. where, you know, I got Medicare. I'm looking down the barrel of Social Security when I'm going to take that. And the fact of the matter is... None of this stuff works really well. You're going to need a True side story. hustle. <laughs> side hustle and of honestly, Robin Bates. I mean, if we're being honest about it, at a certain point, life in prison doesn't really seem all that scary. And you don't have a whole old. lot of life left. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know if they wrestled to the ground or what. But <laughs> <laughs> you think they taser? You know, I don't know if they pistol whipped Edna, but you know what? what she probably do? lost her house because her property taxes were too high. She wow. couldn't afford to stay in her own home. We shouldn't she, even joke about that because that now is she's that's got what three I mean. squares and a nice I'm bed. I'm surprised that more. <laughs> More folks, <laughs> more folks in, in that age group aren't doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Because, huh. you know. I know that there are some who've done exactly that for exactly that reason. Oh, there's been. I think it's really <clears> sad. <throat> I know I, a guy who did that in my hometown. 
Every well, year in the wintertime, he'd, he'd break the law so he'd have a place to sleep. Oh, that's that's pretty common. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I used to, you know, I used to hop freight trains and go down south during the winter. You did? <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> I sure did, John. Hobo Dan, they called me. <laughs> I just... I had a banjo strapped in my back. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker every time, Dan. It's hobo day. <laughs> yep. He's in there, open up a tin of beans. Is that where you learned, <laughs> is that where you learned to play the harmonica? Uh, next to a burn. Is that where you learned to play the harmonica? Yeah, but only if I was next to a burn barrel with, <laughs> with some of my, my hobo buddies. Uh, all right. Well, something else. Feel as though we're off track. Oh, <laughs> Thanks gosh. for coming in, Dan. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for having me, John. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. What can I say that I haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left. So how about this? At bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, May 12th, 2022. Equities extended their sell-off Wednesday with the S&P 500 falling more than 1.5% to the lowest level in over a year. The move was driven by a hotter-than-expected CPI read and took the index firmly below the 4,000 level. The CPI came in at 8.3% year-over-year, or up 0.2% from the previous month putting an end to the idea that inflation has peaked. The next hurdle for the market will come today in the form of the PPI index. The PPI index is also expected to subside on a month-to-month basis, but may come in much hotter than expected. With inflation on the rise, the FOMC will come under even more pressure to act. Although the Fed has said that they won't hike rates by 75 basis points, we feel that it is on the table now. The risk for the market is not pricing in a recession because it looks like one is on the way. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.